Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Muhammad Mudassar Shahzad from University of Education. Today we will discuss about the another region that is the Oriental region that basically falls in zoo geography and paleontology. According to WWF, there are about eight different regions on our earth. Here in this map, you can see all of these different regions. But today, we are going to talk about the Oriental region. In this map, you can see that the Oriental region is surrounded by Aleartic region, Ethiopian region, Antarctic region and Australian region. Dear students, in 1868, Hensley divided the earth into two primary divisions, in which number one was called as Arctogi. In Arctogi, there were about four different regions. Number one, Neartic. Number two, Paleartic region. Number three, Ethiopian region. And number fourth one was Oriental region. On the other hand, the southern part of the world is called as Notogi, in which two primary divisions were Australian region and Neotropical region. Popularly, southern part that is called as South Asiatic or Indian region or Indo Malayan region. Now we are going towards the different countries that are included in Oriental region. If we talk about the countries, there are firstly Pakistan, excluding the areas of Balochistan, because you have already studied in previous lecture of Palearctic region that the areas of Balochistan are included in Palearctic region. Other than India is also present in this region, Sri Lanka, Burma, Malaysia, Indonesia, China, Philippines, Borneo, and Java. These are the basically countries that are included in this region that is called as Palearctic region. Here is a map of Palearctic region in which you can see Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Sri Lanka, and other countries in which you have already studied that China, Philippine, Borneo and Java. These countries are also included in this chart. Now we are going towards the general features of Oriental region. If we talk about the boundaries, north of this region, Himalayas are present. If we talk about the western side, there is Arabic Sea on its west side. And on the southeast corner, the physical boundary is absent, where the islands of Malayan archipelago shrinks out until they reach Australia. Himalayan slopes with all the Indochina Indo-Chinese countries form the chief and most tropical part of region. Here the wild Malayan archipelago that basically refers to the archipelagos between mainland of southeastern Asia and Australia. The word archipelago refers to chains or clusters of islands. 
if we talk about the climate basically the climate of oriental region mainly tropical if we talk about the temperature here is the average temperature about 30 degrees centigrade relative humidity of oriental region is about 87 percent if we talk about the rainfall the total rainfall of oriental region is about 2.423 millimeter throughout the year the heavier rain is at mountain range that is about 5 millimeter per year but in the north east part the rain is about 3 millimeter per year that is less than the mountainy areas there are about four different seasons of the year in oriental region here you can see the spring season and on the other hand you can see summer season here you can see the winter season and here is autumn season these four basic seasons of oriental region if we talk about the physical features of oriental region there is a great variety of physical features if we talk about the physical features of indian region the north part north part of india is basically having grassy plains with scattered trees and bushes on the southern side the area is very rich in vegetation if we talk about the north and west sides there are deserts in indian portion in this picture you can see all the parts of oriental region in which you can see the north parts northwest parts as in desert form and the southern parts that are basically forests if we talk about the different areas that are covering the forest these are including sri lanka malaysia indonesia indo chinese region these are basically covered with thick tropical forests and possess a variety and possesses a varied and extremely rich fauna what is meant by tropical forest tropical forest are basically present in most of the world's rain forest are in south america and southeast asia in southeast asia they are covering about 25 percent of all over the world there are also smaller areas of rainforest in central america madagascar india and australia here is the basic map of all over the world here is the asia and europe our oriental region is basically including in this area we talk about the valleys lines valleys was basically a zoo geographic researcher who make imaginary lines in between the different areas of different regions he make an imaginary line in indonesian indonesia that runs through borneo and sulawesi these imaginary lines basically separates the oriental region and australian regions if we talk about the ecological significance 
separately there are two zoogeographical regions that are respectively associated with Asia and Australia. Here you can see the Wallace line. Wallace line is basically separating the two regions that are the Borneo and Sulawesi. If we talk about the biodiversity around Wallace lines, to the west of line, Fauna is more Asian and to its east side it resembles towards the Australian fauna. Region is home to over about 10,000 different plant species that are about 15% of which are endemic. 1142 different vertebrate species are present in terrestrial regions from which about half 529 are endemic to these areas in which monkeys, anoa, babirusa, here you can see the rahisus monkey, mountains, anova, babirusia, bonnet, macro, and lowland anova. These are the different animals that are basically endemic to. If we talk about the subregions of oriental region, there are about four different subregions of oriental region in which number one is indian subregion number two is ceylon subregion number three is indochina subregion number fourth is indo malayan subregion here is the map of Oriental region. If we talk about the different regions, firstly we are going to discuss the Indian subregion. Indian subregion basically includes the North India and central part of India. It starts from the root of Himalaya and extends up to Malabar coast. Here are the pictures of Malabar coast. Here we will talk about the physical features of Indian subregion. There is high rainfall in this region, but low snowfall confined to only high altitudes. This region shows plains and deserts. If we talk about the conditions, there is basically temperate and tropical conditions. There is also extensive and fertile soil in this region. though abounding in life of every kind. If we talk about the life or fauna of that area, there is no peculiar genus of either mammals or birds that are present in this region, but some African type are more abundant animals. If we talk about the animals that are present here are antelopes, peacock, Indian bison, black elephant and snakes.
here are the different pictures of these different animals that are present here number one you can see the peacock number two you can see the elephants and number three are indian bisons in this slide you can see the family antelopes in which you can see the black buck indian gazelle nail guy if we talk about the different reptiles of this area you can see turtles python and himalayan pit vipers now we are going towards the second sub region that is indo china sub region if we talk about the area of indo china sub region there is southeast asia the mainland of southeast asia is included in indo china sub region if we talk about the different countries here you can see the myanmar thailand laos vietnam and cambodia other than these countries there is also subtropical forests of southern china that are present in this indo china sub regions if we talk about the physical features of this region the physical features are directly linked between india and china average temperature of this region is about 20 to 30 degrees celsius all over the year if we talk about the rainfall there is about 60 to 80 inch of average annual rainfall in this region during summers the rain are very rare and usually very heavy the heaviest showers fall between may and august and a rainfall of 4 inches within 20 to 24 hours has been recorded in these months from may to august we talk about the fauna of this region great variety of mammals and birds are present in this region it was found that almost all of the more important groups are present in this area three genera of mammals and 44 genera of birds are peculiar to this sub region they includes gibbons rhinoceros turtles and tortoises etc here you can see the different animals in which firstly you can observe the indian rhinoceros nextly you can see the gibbons here you can see the turtles and tortoises that are present in this second sub region now we are going towards the third sub region that is called as silen sub region in silen sub region small indian peninsula that is the southern indian part is basically included in silen sub region here is the map of silen sub region here is the larger map of silen sub region in which you can see the different areas that are present in this sub region that are surrounded by indian ocean and bay of bengal 
if we talk about the climate of silent sub region the climate of silent sub region is mainly tropical silent is situated near the equator so the climate is generally hot and humid the hills and mountains areas however are cool and the humidity is relatively lower in lower lands the average annual temperature is about 32 degree centigrade in low lands and 21 degree centigrade in higher mountainous regions mountains and south western parts of country are basically known as wet zone and most of the south east and east and northern parts of the country comprises the dry zone if we talk about the rainfall in silent sub region there are two zones number 1 is dry zone and number 2 is wet zone if we talk about the dry zone there is about 1200 to 1900 mm of rainfall is recorded throughout the year and in the wet zone there is about 2500 mm of rainfall is recorded annually if we talk about the different birds that are present in silent sub region there are about 450 different species of birds in which about 250 species of birds are resident to silent sub region and 23 of them are endemic of which the majority are found in lowland zones and the rainforests of the hill country and others are migratory birds here you can see the endemic birds in which you can see the whistling thrush jungle fowl now we are going towards the mammals there are about 113 different species of mammals that are present in silent sub region about these 113 species one is critically endangered species 10 are endangered species 10 are vulnerable species and about 3 species are nearly threatened other than these red cylinder lorus elephants and nilgai are common here you can see the picture of elephant nilgai and lorus that are common in these areas now we are going towards the fourth and last sub region that is indo malayan sub region the indo malayan sub region basically includes the malayan peninsula and surrounding islands as far as java borneo and philippines here is the map of indo malayan sub region if we talk about the fauna of that region there are common animals to malayan and indo chinese sub region there are about 14 genera's of mammals and 40 genera's of birds that are present in this area and the animals that are present here are wholly peculiar to this area here you can see the red vented bulbul 
rock pigeon gibbons loris elephant indian rhinoceros that are present in this area and are very common if we talk about the flora that is present in this area are bonsai jinkgo and bamboos dear students now we are going to discuss about the fauna of or all the region if we talk about the fauna of oriental region firstly we will discuss about the fishes that are the first animals of vertebrates if we talk about the fauna of oriental region that is going to be resembles the fish fauna of ethiopian region the oriental fish fauna is basically dominated by carps and catfishes if we talk about the carps there are indian major carps and chinese major carps if we talk about the indian carps the in indian major carps catla catla lebiorohetta and mori that is basically that are basically present in major carps and if we talk about the chinese carps there are four different species of chinese carps in which number 1 is cyprinus scorpio that is called as common carp or gulfarm and the other one are mud carps silver carp and grass carps if we talk about the catfishes there are flat head catfish that are basic animals the basic fishes that are present in this oriental reach if we talk about the amphibians that are present in oriental region there are urodels urodels are basically called as tailed amphibians but these are absent in oriental region if we talk about anurans in which frogs and toads are common anurans are present in this region the different species that are present of frogs are rana species in which you have studied about rana tigraina and second one is hyla species here you can see the hyla species in which you can see the toad and here is the indian bull frog if we talk about the reptiles that are present in oriental region the reptiles in oriental region are very abundant this fauna of reptile is basically dominated by lizards snakes in which poisonous snakes are most common turtles crocodiles if we talk about the endemic reptiles that are present in ethiopian region we will discuss only the families that are important and endemic in this area if we talk about the different families firstly the egg eating snakes that are going to belong to lacistodontidae family secondly the animals that are common are called as shield tail snake that are called as uh, the, that are going to belong the family of europeltidae 
the third one are lizards that are belongs to lenthen lentheno tidi and the next one is gavels that are belonging to the family of gavelid and the next one are big headed turtles that are going to be belong the family of lady stir sternidi here are the shield tail snakes here is the second family that are called as egg eating snakes here are the gavials here you can see the big headed turtles here are the lizards that are common in this here are the different species of snakes in which you can see the python russell's viper cret and indian cobra if we talk about the reptiles the common reptiles of this area are crocodile monitored lizard and geckos next we are going to discuss about the birds that are present in this area about 66 different families of birds that are present in oriental region more than 340 genera of land birds that are present in this region there are about 165 different genera that are peculiar to oriental region and about 961 different species that are present in this region now we are going to discuss the endemic families that are present in oriental region the first family that is present here is called as urilemidi in which long tailed broad bills are present the next animals that are common in this area are woodpeckers peacocks pigeons kingfishers crows bulbul mebles orioles weaver pits etc these are the common birds that are present here here you can see the picture of green bee eater and here is the golden oriole here you can see the streak weaver here is the baya weaver and here is the nest of these weaver birds now we will discuss about the pheasants that are present in oriental region in which firstly you can see the cheer pheasant that is a beautiful bird here you can see the himalayan monal here are the coclas that are also very beautiful birds that are present in our zoos here is the pleage pheasant that are also very important and very beautiful birds these are also present in captive farms in our zoos here are the common babbler here is the golden backed woodpecker these golden backed woodpeckers are also common in our region these are the crows you have seen them these are the mina here you can see the rock pigeons red vented bulbul white breasted 
king fisher and peed thrush here are the house sparrow that is present in our surrounding environment here are the rose ring parrots that are common in our surroundings and you have already seen the different types of peacock here are the two different species of peacocks that are present in this diagram next we are going to discuss about the different mammals that are present in oriental region there are about 30 different mammalian families that are present in oriental region from these 30 families there are about 11 subfamilies 303 genera and about 1000 different species of mammals talk about the endemic families there are gibbons that are belong to hylobatidae family next one are tarsiers that are going to belong to tarsidae family next one are tree shrews that belongs to tupidae family and in the last you can see the flying lemur now you can see the gibbons that belongs to hylobatidae family next one are tarsiers that belongs to tarsidae family next one are tupidae family in which you can see the tree shrew that are common in our environment here you can see the flying lemur. On the other hand, you can see the lion tepper. And this side, you can see the pangolins. The other animals that are present in oriental region are Asiatic lions, Indian rhinoceros, and Hongol. Other mammals are including the golden langur, Neil guy, and elephants, black buck. Orangutan, sloth beer, camels, Indian gazelles, monkey. If we talk about the families that are present in different areas that are similar towards the oriental fauna. Here, firstly, we will discuss about the families that are common in Oriental region and Ethiopian region. There are about eight different mammalian families that are present in both of these regions. Firstly, the lorises, old world monkeys, apes, bamboo rats, sorry, bamboo rats, Elephants, Rhinoceros, Chevrotens, and Pangolins. These are the basically mammalian families that are present in both of the regions that are Oriental and Ethiopian region. Here you can see the diagrams of bamboo rat, apes, Chevroten and 
pangolin. Unlike the Ethiopian region, Oriental region has different species of moles, bears, tapers, and deers. Why? It is without the gerbos convey and wild horses. Here you can see the bear, deer, wild horse, gerbos, mole, and convey. Oriental region shares the hedgehog, porcupine, kaivets, hyena, pigs with both Ethiopian and Palearctic region. Here you can see the porcupine, hyena, hedgehog, pigs and kaivets. Thank you so much students. If you have any question, you can ask me. See you in our next lecture. Till that, goodbye.